Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, all right, let's get to, to it. Uh, again, th- th- quick hits comes at you twice a day, uh, every day, 8 to 10 minutes just to keep you up on the latest and greatest boxing news. Um, as you can see, today's show is going to be a spectacular one. Um, we got Tank Davis uh, making an announcement, and he's messing with Texas. But before we get into that, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Vlog. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Thumbs up. All that good stuff. Additionally, there will be a uh, link in the description for a taka, which is like T-A-C-A, like a, a female taco. Taka. Um, there'll be a link in the description for... Um, the Autism Community Action, which is a, a, a charity that's near and dear to our heart. Um, all our proceeds go to, uh, a portion of our proceeds go to Taka, which is a great charity. Please share it if you can. Uh, please donate. Please share it. You know, you, that's the way you can help for free. Again, it's near and dear to our heart. But let's get into today's show. Javonta Tank Davis. Uh, he's got a little legal issues. It looks like he's going to go ahead and fight anyway. Um, it looks like uh, he... Tweet it tomorrow. I don't know if that means the announcement is going to be made tomorrow. But it looks like Tank Davis is, as you can see in the description below, messing with Texas. Um, and he's going to fight young 25-year-old um, Mario Barrios from San Antonio. Um, it's an intriguing fight um, that I want to get into. Barrios... Um, is a huge 140 pounder uh, i hear he walks around at about 165 he shrinks down to 140. i, I don't know if tank's going to try to make him go lower than that if tank's going to try to get him down to 138 137 something like that um there's been rumors of that maybe we'll find out tomorrow this fight's been talked about for over a month now um and it looks like we're, we're finally gonna it's, it's gonna get made it's going to happen in June, June 17th, 24th, are the dates they're talking about. Don't know if it's going to be in San Antonio, but it looks like it's going to happen. And it's intriguing for a couple of reasons. I, I think Mario Barrios is the future of the 140-pound division, if he can stay there. I, I think, um, and, and we'll find out more, I think he can beat everyone at 140. I'm that confident in him. Now, he's 25. Um, he's just starting to enter his prime now. Um, but he's sharper than, than, than Taylor. Um, I think he carries more pop than Taylor, or at least equal pop to Taylor. Um, he's quicker than Taylor. Um, he's bigger and stronger and longer than Progre. I, I think he can keep Progre at the end of his punches. And if he can keep Progre at the end of his punches, that's the, 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 the his path to victory to fight Javante Tank Davis. Um, if he keeps Javante Tank Davis at the end of his punches, he'll have a field day. He'll win this fight all day. Um, you know, you've seen this fight before. Um, he, he's got a lot of heart. He's, 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 he's an Aztec. He's got that blood. He's got that spirit in him. Um, don't trade too much is my advice to him. Fight. Make it a... I don't want to say a boring fight. Keep it at distance. Control the range. Keep him at the end of your punches. You'll take him all day. He's got... You know, um, Barros, you can see him on on the wall. He's right there. Um, there's Pernell. There's Mario. Um, if he keeps him at the end of his punches... He'll have a field day. He's got ton of. He's got plenty of power. He's got a ton of power. He can. He can stop Tank uh, from the outside. He can keep him at range. He's really tall. He's like six one. I. I would. He's taller than me. You can see in the picture. Taller than me. I'm five eleven. I, I think he's about six one. Um. So that, that's gonna give him about eight inches. Who <laughs> Tank Davis is about five five. Um. And he's got plenty of power to keep him at bay. He's got plenty of speed. Uh. He keep moving. Stay off the ropes. Don't let him on the inside. He gets on the inside, smother him real quick. Um, you know, that's the path to victory. It's pretty simple for both guys on how they win this fight. How does Tank Davis win the fight? 
just the opposite. He's got to get on the inside. You know, Leo Santa Cruz was having success in in parts. You know, in, 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 to a degree, um, he won some rounds by keeping Javante Tank Davis at the end of his punches. Javante is a small guy. I mean, uh, Leo Santa Cruz is a, is a smaller guy than, than Barrios. Um, he comes up. I know Barrios comes up from twenty two and twenty six, but he was real young. I mean, Barrios is now a huge one forty pounder. I mean, I think Barrios is Chris over. He's a one fifty four pounder. He's that big of a guy. Um, tank Davis is is for for lack of a better word, but like a five foot five tank. And tanks melt under Texas heat. Um, he needs to get on the inside. Um, you know, he needs to do to Mario what he did to Leo Santa Cruz. And I, I think there was a reason that he had Mario fight, that Mario fought on that card, in the Santa Cruz card. And I think there's a reason why he fought Santa Cruz. I think he wanted to fight a tall, rangy Mexican fighter who threw a lot of punches. And he got that with uh, Santa Cruz. I think this fight, look, if, if Javante Tank Davis wins, he'll have belts. And, and you can say that WBA records, whatever. He'll have belts. Recognized belts at three different weight classes. I don't know if anyone's done that before. Uh, someone can fact check me on that. I'm not saying it has or it hasn't. I, I can't think of a time where it's been done. Um, but if it has been done, um, it, it's been a while. Uh, and take a chance to simultaneously hold three belts in three different weight classes. That's fascinating. That's interesting. I, I, I'd like to see that. Um it's an intriguing fight, it is. And there's a path to victory for both guys. I, I just think that if Barrios fights his fight, he wins. If Barrios gets too brave, if Barrios exchanges with him, if Barrios gets caught up against the ropes, it could be good night. But if Barrios stays in control and Barrios wins, and Barrios does his thing, Barrios wins his fight. I know that's going to be unpopular with a lot of people, but there's weight classes for a reason. Barrios is simply too big for him. It's no disrespect to Tank. I think Tank is spectacular. Um, but again, this is a huge 140 pound. This guy walks around 165. I, it's just too much. He's too big. He's too long. You know, he's physically strong. He's throws a lot of punches. He throws precise punches. Yes. Barrios is defensively flawed and that could spell disaster for him, but he's got to be sharp. He's got to have the best camp of his life. He's got to go and be sharper than he's ever won. He's got to click. And if he does that, I, I think, I think Javante gets, gets that L. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, please leave your thoughts, comments below. Leave your predictions below. Let me know who y'all think are going to win. Uh, this, again, may be announced tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but this is big news. Let me know what you guys think. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, it is March 15th, 20... No, I'm sorry. What am I saying? It's April 14th. Dyslexic or something. 2021. Uh... Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Um, again, that um, link is in the description above. Um, check for the Autism Community in Action. Please share the link um, if you can. Please donate to it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share 3D Boxing. Share this blog on all. Uh, share this video on all forms of social media. Share it to the world. Uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.